guys accomplish practice-wise or preparation-wise with that team? Yeah, it's a tricky balance with this uh, five-day break, you know, of, uh, of trying to maintain rhythm but also take advantage of the time to, uh, to rest up, heal up bumps and bruises. So, um, you know, I feel like we achieved that, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, get, getting enough work, but you know, keeping guys, uh, keeping guys rested. Eric, uh, Eric Gordon, you good to go. Yes. He had a migraine the last game. Okay? Yeah, he's good. Is everybody healthy? Everybody's available, yep. Just even, just even getting to the playoffs with that, uh, how, it's a sense of relief, uh, finally, how, how do you do with the health? It's a great starting that? point. Yeah. You know, I mean, you don't want to be dealing with it, but, um, you know, when they occur, you know, every coach has to has to adjust when it happens. You've talked a lot about the tight shell against this team in particular. How do you like the way that you guys have been able to maintain that but also get out to shooters because they are a really good three-point shooting team and they've had success in Yeah, they're a great shooting team and uh, you know, we've been pretty good at it and you know, when they you know, when they drive and kick, and we just gotta make sure that we're we're stopping the ball and getting back to shooters. I mean it's a it's a multiple effort type of thing look at the perimeter defenders that they have, how important is it that Nurk has been able to set those types of screens that really can free those guys up? Yeah, look, every every screen that is set you know, throughout our offense, whether it's small screen for bigs, big screen for smalls, you know, that all falls into uh, executing at a high level, you know, which you need to do during, during uh, you know, come playoff time. Playoff intensity increasing. What have you seen from the guys, maybe just how their focus going in and the level of dedication Yeah, they're right ready. Now? Yeah, they're ready. They've been extremely attentive in all of our film sessions, which have been, you know, with the with the week off, have been <laughs> very thorough. Um, but they're very attentive, very locked into uh, the plan, and you know the different ways the game can shift. You know, with, uh, with potential adjustments, and um, you know, we kind of talked about all of it, and uh, and we'll, we'll be ready to, you know, for whatever they throw at us. Frank, you guys, coaches, keep notes, you know, throughout the course of the season. Do you have a special playoff? notebook that you've kept and, and how much because you've been in so many how much do you reference from the past to apply to new team and just all up here for the most part and uh you know i reference things as as they come to me as as the the next scenario plays out you know, if i see something that reminds me of you know a a, a play a, a pacers heat matchup and things some of the things they you know they, they did that came up this week something that i remember from you know, the Heat series is, um, you know, that something comes up from some of the Lakers series is, you know, as we encounter certain scenarios, you know, all, the, all of that is in, uh, is, is in my head from uh, just from, you know, the experience bucket, you know what I mean? And uh, you use those experiences the best you can uh, to try to help this year group. Knowing that the journey really does start now, new season, is there much that needs to be said to the team or is it, do you kind of take more of a, I'm not going to say quiet approach, but in terms of getting this team focused and ready, how does that come? How does that work from your perspective? No, I mean we were very thorough and detailed in you know uh, preparing for for these games, uh, but also setting a tone for what the playoffs are about and what we're trying to accomplish here in terms of getting 16 wins. What is that tone? I keep that between me and my team. My team. You guys have gotten off to fast starts in all three of these games against Minnesota. How important is that going, you know, into a playoff series? I think this is the first time they've hosted a game one since like 20, 2004, I think. Yeah, it's important, but, you know, we have to be able to, you know, the ride to eb eb ebbs and flows of the game. You know, I mean, they're going to be charged up and ready. There's going to be great excitement in this building, and, um, you know, hopefully we can hit first and, uh, you know, play, play from, uh, from we know with the lead. Uh, but if they, they jump out and, uh, you know, we got to absorb that punch, you know. So, I mean, it's a 48-minute game and um, you got you to win the, the totality of it. Uh, just following the game plan, trying to execute as best as possible and limit your mistakes. Uh, uh, that's... that's Usually on the road, teams that you know they uh, thrive off the home crowd. So just trying to stay poised throughout the whole game. Look at this Minnesota loss. They're gonna they want to make adjustments to how the series, the regular season series. What's the key in countering that? You know, at a certain point in the game. Try. Yeah, just playing hard, uh, playing together. That's usually the formula, and uh, that it makes up for a lot of mistakes that we may make. And so just keep it at playing hard and playing together. 
mindset, mentally, physically? What can that do for you guys now heading in, resetting? Yeah, it's always good. I mean, it's pros and cons to everything. I mean, you could definitely take the rest and uh, use it um, to get better. Um, but it's also, you know, if we'd have been playing these, you know, we played in the play-in, we'd have just stayed conditioned and game conditioned. So I think it's good, you know, pros and cons to every situation. It's just how you approach it. And uh, veterans usually approach those days off with uh, intense focus. It's trying to be better. And, you know, so every day matters regardless. To Dwayne's point, they are going to come back, make adjustments. What habits do you want to see during this season? Um, just just focus level. I, I, I like where our focus level been the last month of the season. I just continue that every possession. I just know we're going to make mistakes. Know they're going to hit tough shots. And know that the, sometimes the ref might get in the way of the game. Sometimes just how basketball goes. So if we stay poised and stay together, I think we, uh, we'll be in good shape. KD, you're no stranger to the playoffs. How important is it to get off to a fast start, stay locked in, especially on the road? Yeah, it's important. I mean, um, just just trying to play good ball every time you know you step out there. Everybody knows their job, so just try to do that to the best of your abilities and let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, I know you and, and Book had been in Brad's ear, you know, earlier in the season about remaining aggressive, but trying to still be that facilitator. And it looked like it was the last two weeks. I really clicked in with him, and, and what have you seen that do to unlock even more potential for you guys? Um, I, to be honest, I think Coach has been trying to figure out ways to keep, keep us all effective and and trying to figure out the best way for us to be the best version of ourselves out there. And I think a small tweak of, uh, I think, start of second quarter, Coach might have put Brad out there with just without me and Book, and that allowed him to go out there and play free, not have to worry about getting people involved, but look to score first. And I think that's always good uh, when a coach gives you that freedom. And, but Brad's taking full advantage of it. And, and then when we come back into the game, he's still even more in rhythm and flow, and we just feed off of him. So um, I think it's a combination of Brad just sticking with it and coach putting him in good positions to be successful too. And defensively, Frank had said early on in the year, like his defensive velocity and system was really built on getting to the postseason. What is it about you guys' defense that, that you've seen and felt over the last couple of weeks that feels like you're able to elevate that even more? Uh, I just think just game plan discipline. And we watched over the last month and a half of the season, we watched more film, we detailed more stuff on teams. And I mean, that's just getting prepared. I think we got guys that can guard multiple positions, but more than anything, we're team defense. We're not relying on one guy, two guys, just to control the defense. Everybody's on one string trying to play together, and we keep that philosophy. We're in good shape. How would you describe the change in mentality once the playoffs do begin? Um, for, um, I, I don't try to change anything I, I'm doing. I think each player, obviously, um, wants to come out every single day and put their best foot forward, and you don't want to wait to the playoffs to make big adjustments on the type of player you want to be or your approach. I think every player in the league sees this time as a time to continue to keep the habits that you built throughout the whole season and uh, you know play even more free knowing that you put that work in all season. So um, it's a relaxing time. I know it's a high pressure um, time of the season for people outside the game, but with all the work and stuff that you put in through the year, it should be comfortable. Yeah, I mean, we just try to play together and move the ball, um, move bodies. Um, they're a big, long, athletic team, so you don't want to try them too much and try to force things at those guys. They're smart. Rudy is extremely, you know, has gotten extremely better at guarding perimeters, guarding posts, guarding the rim. So you just can't just throw them in actions expecting them to just give in. I think uh, we be, we're strategic what we do. We make the ball move. We got get stops, get out and run too as well. So. Um, we've got to be cautious of putting guys in actions, but also um, realizing that they still have an all-world Hall of Fame defensive player over there and guys around him that can guard on the perimeter too. So uh, we just got to be aggressive to, to, to put our head down and try to get something going. Kevin, obviously this is off the top. Last two. This is off the off the top of Team USA, when you look at that, that 5 8 12 man roster, just to initiate the thoughts of seeing that. Yeah, it's exciting time. Um, Olympic time is always some of the you know, most fun moments I've had as a player. And you get 12 guys on the team that are all world. I've seen is like 80 something all NBAs and all star games combined between us. And 
I'm just grateful I get this opportunity. There's so many great players, man, that's going to be there. It's only going to sharpen you as a player, and it's going to build a bond in the NBA even even deeper as well. You know, it's an amazing time getting to play with the guys you compete, compete against your whole career. You get to play with them in a set, and that's pretty cool, you know, so I'm looking forward to it. for him just your thoughts and reaction to that and thoughts on his game. yeah I man it's mutual respect I always have respect for Ant's game and um, always wonder what type of player and person he is so I'm looking forward to seeing with that oh I knew what type of player he was but the person he is and how he approaches his work I'm looking forward to seeing that on a day-to-day um, always appreciate him showing me love when he came into the league and he competes at the highest level every time he steps on the floor there's no I don't feel none of that, you know, I watched you as a kid type vibe when we play on the court, you know, and I, I respect him for that. Um, but I can't wait to be around him and all the other guys. I always learn so much from being around greatness. Play basketball? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm just excited, man. I feel like for me, you know, have some guys here in our team that miss a uh, few years of playoffs, so really don't take for granted we, you know, as healthy as possible and, you know, looking forward to, you know, playoff basketball. I feel great against anybody, especially, you know, physicality is something that we have to, you know, rely on us to be better especially in playoffs and, you know, people are going to try to, you know, start hard and foul us and, you know, play to the contact. So there's going to be big um, emphasis for playoffs regardless who we play. And, you know, they big. They play with two bigs all the time. So it's a, you know, challenge for us, but also a challenge for them to keep our, you know, best players out of the floor. And it's going to be really hard for them. So. Nurk, it's, it's been a minute since you've had a chance to compete postseason basketball. Can you just kind of put into words the, the emotions and how excited you are for a chance to really show a lot of people what you are capable of doing come postseason time? I mean, like I said from the beginning, it's really exciting, but also like blessing the, the B chance, you know, compete and knowing you have a real chance of, you know, winning. Um, you know, on paper, you always look at it, and you know we have that. So it's a matter of time to us to go out there and, and and do it. But for me personally, I don't you know take it as a I have to go out there and just do some I don't know crazy stats. You know, I just want to do help my team get a win and you know playing you know the role they give it to me the best way as possible. And for us, if we get a W, you know, nobody happy than me good screens for these guys all season long. How important is it in this particular matchup with a lot of the perimeter defenders that they have? I didn't know this, but <laughs> uh, yeah, it's huge. You know, they have a length, you know, what they say, they have a McDaniels. So you take for whatever you want to take from that, but, um, you know, we feel confident. And as far as my screens, you know, they're going to have to deal with that whole, whole series, whole playoffs, as long as we play. Um, you know, I try to, you know, get my guys open, my teammates, get better spots. And I think pretty much whole year I was doing a great job, but, you know, it's 0-0. Zero, zero, so it's almost like a preseason. So, you know, but with the playoff intensity, it's 0-0. Zero, zero, everybody even, you know, some, some of them have home court advantage. But for us as a team, we don't really care. So we're here and, you know, we're looking for the win. Kevin just said, too, that something that you guys prepare for all season heading into the playoffs some guys get when you get there you start to play more free how much how much do you feel that you can do that too I mean after the some I don't know 60 games in I said we are the playoff team the regular season team so well, what I mean by that you know some games are you know on and off but in playoffs we all know that each possession count one possession can cost you serious and you know you got to take it serious especially with our Emphasis, I feel like, on turnovers. You know, we have a dealing with that problem for majority of the year, and now we know. You know, yeah, I want to turn over. Yeah, I, I gotta get back. <laughs> so, I think we we understand, and, and especially with the experience we have, we shouldn't have. You know, to, we shouldn't be able to after the game say, oh, we have a whatever 20 or some turnovers, and 
you know, our transition got better, you know, turnovers obviously a little better. So um, I'm, you know, big believer that what we do last few weeks of the season, they're going to carry over. And um, I think we shared the ball really well last few games too. So I think we are really confident in what we have. What are those conversations like amongst the teammates as you guys gear up for the first round of the playoffs? Is a lot said? Is not a lot said? What are those conversations looking like as you guys gear up for this? I mean, we just want to start. I feel like mm -hmm. there's no really conversation until you start it. And until that jumbo start, I think it's going to be all preparation, films, and coaches try to prepare us as best possible with the game plan, but also like it's not really you going back to the hotel now. Even I'm forced to get a day earlier here. <laughs> With, the, with this weather, and we have the Phoenix weather, so I'm still upset, but that's good, being upset before the game is good. What do you feel like you guys have been able to do effectively to guard Anthony Edwards in terms of you know, showing him the routes and that sort of thing? I mean, I feel like we were just physical, you know, showing him, um, like you said, crowds, but also our defense is he's got better. So, you know, I know y'all have been complaining about defense. <laughs> first 50 games and I think we, we got really better as a team, as a group, trusting each other that the, somebody going to be there, somebody beat you and I think that's really carry over. We've always heard and seen <clears throat> that the physicality ramps up when it comes to playoff time. How much do you relish or enjoy the increase in physicality and that playoff intensity? I love it. As long as that referee know that, I love it. <laughs> but, um, you know, looking forward, like I said, didn't been a part for a few few years last for me personally and, you know, for, for my, for my teammates. So you know, I think it's going to be really fun to see and experience that after the whole season we, we was playing for. And... You know, I can't really describe, you know, we can't just wait to get ready.